few areas. Uh, plan for the frustration, plan for us to put us in our back fence and put a grip on us and couldn't fight out of it. Uh, you know, you had a week to to get that part right and obviously didn't do it as well as we should have as, as a coaching group, so we own that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of a grip and like I said, we had chances, got out in front and then got back into it, you know, you know that full pass and then just that little inside arm and oh, there's four or five key ones during the game, even that try before half time and Sevi palmed it back and got a niggly bounce of the ball, so well done to them, you know, you've got to commend um, them for playing that style and getting a result. Uh, execute, finish. Look, we've got to be better in kick plans, we've got to be better in exits, we've got to be better in lots of areas, so yeah. it starts there. There's one moment where two passes in yeah. Yeah. After this, was that it was a key moment. Yeah, obviously that's what you're asking the question. Yeah, we had that. We were back into control there, and you know, we, yeah. Uh, we always, we always knew that they were going to be an ugly and stay in the game, and that's credit to them. Um, I think we just didn't win. We weren't able to adapt to what they were, they were putting us under pressure. Are the adversity something more sports than faith? Yep. What's the, what's the importance of the right response to adversity in this situation? I think, first of all, we've just got to own it. Got to look ourselves in the mirror, um, lead us, um, and ask the players to do that too. But we've got to own it, look ourselves hard in the mirror, get the lessons we need to. Um, but we still got to stay tight together and, and uh, you know, each day try and get better. Good thing about rugby is we got a chance to play again next week. So you know, first and foremost, we've got to own it, walk towards the challenge. No, not at all. I thought Angus was great, communicated well with myself, um, didn't find that at all. Coach, I mean, you talk about those in the team style and the way they play the game, slowing the game down to one thing. The guards that are allowed them to go and get their new pair of boots for the, for the captain to bring them on the field and stop the game, could that be happening as well, Rick? It's a good question. I actually haven't thought of, thought of that. Maybe go to the sideline and carry on. I'm not, no, I'm not sure. But it's good something to, to reflect as you have all those rules and that's those stop in that regard. Yeah. Um yeah, they're good at their craft. Nah, not re yeah. Not really. After every kickoff we just put pressure on ourselves, you know, we we covered it but didn't execute it, so look, Gregor, that's it's hugely frustrating. Uh, when we did some really good, simple things well, we looked great, didn't we? And then just reverted back um, to put pressure back on ourselves. Uh, you know, they were good around the breakdown. Look, I thought we had a great week on mindset. I had an edge with the boys and expectation. We know Argentina uh, from a few years ago and then that result, but you no, know, there's a number of little things, but we just got to find what's critical now so we can move on. Scott, that's, I guess, on the top of mm. England, that's three yeah. Leicester convincing points on your home soil in a row. Do you reach a point where you have to have a little bit of a rethink, or are you confident that you're still progressing? Oh, you're not always rethinking, aren't you? You always. Look, uh, you've been together sort of five, six weeks, and you know, you've got to build trust in your processes and people believe and, and then execute. Now we've got to get the execution part right. Is there anything you want to change? I won't comment right now on that. Yeah, 
area. Well, we put ourselves in a good position to try and, um, you know, head away. But like Razor said, we just couldn't finish things off. And that's a testament to Argentina. They're yeah. always there. They're always putting us under pressure. Um, when they were kicking off, their kicks were right on the money and they were pushing us there and we couldn't get out. Um, so that's something that we need to look at um, and need to be better at. I think as an All Black, we shouldn't need a week. We shouldn't need a loss to to, to get a performance. Um, our standard is we we should turn up every week. Um, but you know that's the reality of rugby. You know we didn't get it right tonight. It wasn't good enough. But hopefully you know we can get back on the horse and. Um, Grow and learn and get better. Yeah. Yeah, we kicked away a couple of little knock-on advantages, which we probably could have in the head scrums and launched off those little things and the game management stuff. Oh, there's multiple things like that, but yeah, we'd love to have scrum earlier uh, and then get a free kick. Um, of a tough call there, but anyway, that, that, that's yeah. I'd like a couple more early. Yeah, impressive, eh? Look, I think we're on about 14, 15 lineouts in a row, and look, he's got a good engine. He played well, you know, for a second test, and look, we're really pleased. There's lots of things to be pleased about, but you results, what everyone focuses on, but in, in ourselves, we really clearly what's, like I said before, what's critical, but there's some really good performances, yeah. Obviously not good enough. Oh, you look at yourself firstly. Then you go, you know, what could I have done personally, you know, as, as, as the head coach? How could I frame this week a bit better? How could I cut a bit more edge? How can we get the on-field or off-field? So, you know, you reflect, it, reflect over the next 24 years. Uh, 24 hours, sorry on it, and um, like I'm just putting on, I'm, I'm hurt, it's a, uh, but they'll look to me and I'm going to make sure I uh, put everything in place for them so that we respond this week. So you've talked a lot already about improving execution, improving yeah. execution, but you're not getting the solutions. Uh, yeah, a bit of both actually. Like you said before, right at the start, we'll own it, and then we've uh, got to deliver. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.